Okay, well geoengineering is a really it's a really interesting idea and it's also a very contentious idea. So the idea is that perhaps humans can do something that's going to change and cool the planet down and counteract all of the effects of climate change. And and there are a couple of different ideas. You know, one is as simple as painting the roofs on all the cities white and that's just going to make the planet more reflective and bounce more light off. And another idea that's been talked about is actually making more of these particles because of course through the direct effect and the cloud albedo effect particles cool the atmosphere. So if you put out enough of these particles and we inject them high enough in the atmosphere so up into the stratosphere and you have a whole layer of these particles they'll make the sun's uh, energy the light bounce off the top so they'll make the earth more reflective and that will in effect cool the planet and if you get your math right you can counteract the effect of all the CO2 we're adding in the atmosphere. The problem with that is a game of time scales. So since particles only last in the atmosphere for a, a very short period of time, you're going to have to keep on adding more and more particles. And, and that's where the costs start to add up, and it's where the political will would have to, uh, have to side with the idea of mitigating climate. And, and it's where the, the problem in terms of, of financing, but also in terms of everybody on the planet deciding and agreeing what temperature we want to set the planet at, um, that all needs to come into play. So uh, geoengineering is definitely theoretically a possibility and, and one could claim that what we're doing in the atmosphere by putting out CO2 and all of these greenhouse gases is a form of geoengineering already. But there, there is an interesting question as to exactly how we could go about cooling the planet and, and whether or not that's a good idea.